it's very easy. All you have to do is divide this monstrous polynomial that you're seeing here with this binomial in 15 seconds. And you have to tell me both the quotient as well as the remainder. It sounds so easy, doesn't it? Because once you know this easy cal trick for faster division, you don't need more than 10 seconds to divide even a monstrous polynomial like this. So first you give it a try. Start. Your time is up. So could you get the answer? Alright, I'll do it now. x4 divided by x is x cube minus 7x cube plus 10x cube is plus 3x square. And we get the second term of the answer. Now, minus 21x square plus 25x square would be plus 4x. And this is the third term of the answer. Minus 28x plus 15x would be minus 13 question solved this is the quotient and if you want to know the remainder I can tell you the remainder as well minus 7 times minus 13 is plus 91 and plus 91 minus 91 is 0 so the remainder is 0 who would believe that in just few seconds and just one line we divided this monstrous polynomial and we not only got the quotient, we even got the remainder. So now let me tell you how to quickly double check your answer. This way you will never make a calculation error. But before I do that, let me quickly remind you of the mathematical names of all these algebraic expressions. The mathematical name of this answer that we have got is quotient and of this algebraic expression that was dividing is divisor and this huge algebraic expression that was being divided is known as dividend by the way the correct English pronunciation of this word is actually dividend but since dividend rhymes better with divisor Thus, the students prefer to call it dividend. It helps them recall this word better. So, whichever way you are comfortable, you can call it that way. I leave it up to you. And yes, the part that is left over is known as the remainder. So, to verify our answer, we need to do the operations on just the coefficients of all these parts. Like we always do. So, 1 plus 10 is 11, 11 plus 25 is 26, 36, 36 plus 15 is 41, 51 and 51 minus 91 is minus 40. So, our dividend is minus 40. Similarly, the divisor is 1 plus 7 that is 8 and of course, the operation in between the divisor and the dividend is always division but before we divide this dividend with this divisor make sure that you subtract the remainder from the dividend it is very important though in this case the remainder is zero so it makes no difference but had there been some non-zero remainder then you should have subtracted its value from this dividend before dividing it with the divisor. Anyhow, I'll just put the minus 0 here so that you always remember to subtract the remainder. So now we can divide this whole thing by this divisor. So minus 40 minus 0 is minus 40 only and minus 40 divided by 8 would be minus 5. So if the coefficients of this quotient also add up to minus 5, 
then our answer is 100% correct. So let's find out. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 8 minus 13 is minus 5. That means our answer is absolutely correct. I will just put here the mathematical formula for you which gives the relationship between all these parts. Dividend equal to divisor times quotient plus remainder. So when this plus remainder comes over to this side, then obviously it will become minus remainder. That is, remainder is going to get subtracted from the dividend. 